All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. We are here in the Cessna 414AW for another review. So let's get into it. Let's just check out this plane. I have all the features open. As you can see, let's just look overall. You can see inside the engine and the detailing of this aircraft. I got to say, I have to say that this plane has got to be one, if not the best, dual engine uh or what is it twin engine i should say general aviation aircraft in the stream to date um constantly being updated a beautiful aircraft if i mean i really it's really hard to pick between this and the uh 310r which one would be better however i don't know man just the detailing as which they took for this aircraft is absolutely incredible we got wheel chocks we got tie downs as you can see here um, we got this beautiful liver on here, and uh, we got two luggage compartments, just like the other Cessna 310 that we reviewed the other day here. And I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. If you did, or if there's anything I'm missing, please let me know. Uh, I even opened the gas caps, which I don't believe that you could be able to do that before. But if you check here, you can open the gas cap, and you can even check the oil, which is pretty cool. I think that is part of the update, because I did not see that. Uh, before let me know if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm sure you guys uh, know more than I will about that All right in the meantime, let's just take that away. Oh, yeah on the inside as well They even have these locks, which is pretty cool Rudder lock as well Which uh, this is the inside of the aircraft. Well, we're gonna take a look at that as well But this plane I love this plane guys. I really do. I know I say that about every single plane but it's just so hard when you have so many good aircraft being made by so many different developers anyway let's go ahead and uh, get the wheel chocks m removed here all right and we will get that taken all right and that tie downs are off okay and we'll close that up and cabin and close Doors and close. Second door, close. Other door. Those two. All right. All right. We close everything up here now. Oil can go back and closed. There we go. Engine covers closed. All right, so that's all closed up here. The cool thing about this plane is it shows your winds, which I absolutely love because I'm terrible at winds, so this really helps me to understand. Here's the seating as well. You can literally uh, add people here. As you can see, super pretty crazy features here. You can even change what they look like, which I always find super cool about this aircraft. You can literally not just change um, the people, you can change the weight, you can change what they look like. Uh, it's just super cool. Really cool aircraft to check, you know. All right, anyway, uh, these are just some of the features. As you can see, you have fuel, um, your weight, how much fuel is in each of your tanks. We're going to leave it at that. We're just going to go up, do a general flight. Check out the handling, the capabilities. We'll do some stall testing, the usual stuff that we do. Put the iPad if you want to stow it. It goes right down here. Got a couple of features as as well, which I love. The attention to detail in this aircraft is absolutely far uh, better than most. I mean, just amazing aircraft. They even have little fold-out tables here with some cup holders as well. I mean, you can't beat that, right? And the sound effects, amazing. Absolutely amazing. And what else we got going on here? Let's see how. Oh, you just click the table to put it away. There you, there you go. And we have a little light down there as well if you want one is on. Here's the attention to detail right here, ladies and gentlemen. Push the handle, and then we can go ahead and open up the stairs. We got this nice, beautiful carpet from the 80s, and uh, a little closet back here little storage space that's a glass um 
in the back there, a little mirror. A couple of cabinets, a nice little seat here as well. Pretty cool aircraft nevertheless. Um, let's go ahead and shut the doors up here. And uh, let's go ahead and start up the aircraft and get on our way. Now, I haven't flew this in a minute, so hopefully I don't screw up starting it. But, nevertheless, I know, uh, yeah, put the batteries on. Okay. They have nice sound, too, in the gear. Fuel select left, fuel select right, call flaps, are the call flaps open, let's see, these have extended um, lighting as well, here's the call flap. All right, let's go ahead and uh, try to power this aircraft up here. Go for fuel pump here. All right, now here is the lights. And these ones actually come up after, which is pretty cool. This uh, didn't work before. I'm gonna just lower the RPMs to about a thousand. This plane is amazing. I love it. Absolutely love it. Let's go take it flying. Let's set the altimeter. And uh, 414, ladies and gentlemen, brakes off. Flight control check. Let's see. All right. Free and clear. Let's put a little bit of power in there. As you can see, this is uh, just an absolutely amazing aircraft to fly. Love it. One two two decimal three one ready. We're not gonna be doing anything too crazy. We'll just turn to the left here. And we'll take off, go out to the ocean, do a couple of stall um, patterns, and we'll come back in for landing. Just check out this beautiful aircraft. The sounds are pretty amazing too for this whoops crap uh, plane as well. Super super good aircraft. I love this plane. One of my favorites to fly. Let's go ahead and show you what it looks like at night, and we'll go back to the daytime. So here is the nighttime. What it would look like on the outside. Super nice plane. This is on the inside. Absolutely amazing. I love it. All right. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me uh, turn the lighting back on here. Let's go back to the daytime and let's go do some flying. Whoops. Not no position not found. lost our positioning. It's probably because we Tower switched Liberty, today. Seven five seven, right. ready for straight out departure at runway tree four. Twenty-five set. Twenty 
five. This is a uh, manifold pressure in RPM twenty five and twenty five set. The airspeed's coming up forty knots. There we go. Sixty knots. I didn't put any flaps in. It's all right. I'm just gonna fly with no flaps here. Eighty knots. Then we can rotate. in there, which I did not do. Definitely always want to fly with a notch of flaps, as you can tell. Positive rate gear coming up. We almost lost it there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to lie. When it comes to 25% on the 35 on the climb rate. Heavy, it's heavy on the nose. It's going to trim out and turn. We're going to keep turning here as we climb. Flaps up. Gears up. We're just going to keep turning. Get over the ocean. Climb up to 3,000 feet and then we'll start our stall testing. Let's see how this thing works. Heavy on the Tower Liberty seven five seven the notches here, huh? Approach Liberty seven five seven is type two miles west of Wisconsin. Definitely Alpha, Bravo, doing all right. Two thousand three hundred feet. Request clearance to clouds. transition Charlie airspace. Let's go ahead and turn Liberty towards the airport as we approach. climb up. Alright, this is 3,000 feet. We're just passing uh, slightly to the airport there. We're going to go ahead and push full power and nose up. Let's see how this reacts during stall testing. Nosing up. There we go, stall testing coming up. Stall. Liberty 757 approach. All 
Alright, the nose is starting to come over. I'm holding it all the way back and it's starting to come down. Let's try again. Let's see. Now we're talking. 60 knots. That's it. Stall. They stalled out on us at 5,000 feet. Let's do a turning stall and see how it goes. Turning to the right here. It just wants a nose over. It doesn't want to tilt the wing. Not responding even close to the Type R. This plane's hard to stall. Super interesting, huh? Let's see. I want to see if I can stall this thing. It's just nosing over. doesn't want to fall down. It just keeps nosing over. Super interesting. Alright, so it doesn't really want to stall at all. We're at 6,100 feet right now. And this plane does not. Let's see how it handles. There's the runway down there. Runway is right underneath us, as you can see. We're gonna go ahead and uh, descend here. Let's see what we can do. And we'll come in for a landing. Thousand two hundred feet. Continuing down. All right, so let's bring it down for landing to see how it lands. So nosing, uh, like nosing the plane up, right or left, it just really just wants to stay up in the air. It doesn't really want to come down at all. It will just continue to climb. The nose will come over itself, but it does not dip to left or right. It's a very interesting aircraft to try to stall test. I was highly surprised about how that stalls. Actually, it's really nice that it's so safe. To be 100% honest, that's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and put a bit of flaps in there to get, get slowed down a bit. And we'll turn back in towards the land. That's 2,400, or it's going a little bit fast, so we're just going to try to level out here as we turn into the land and uh, make our approach to the runway. The sun is currently setting over here, I guess. Could be my fault. All right. The airport should be coming up shortly here. Got a little bit of icing on the windshield.
right base turn approach into the runway. We're a little bit uh, too low right now, actually. Uh-oh. Let's go ahead and climb. We're going to go over the runway. Alright, well, now it wants to stall. Super interesting. There's the runway right there we're about to fly over. Alright, cool. We're just gonna turn back out here. Get our plane set up for a landing. So, I mean, it doesn't handle bad. Overall, this plane is a beautiful plane to fly once you get the hang of it. As you can see, it's very stable, very nice plane to fly. It doesn't take too much. It is fairly nose heavy, so you do have to keep uh, pulling back on the rudder. Um, other than that, you know, uh, it's a little bit different. Also, it's not as smooth next to the ground. It does have a lot of ground effect, as you saw. Putting gear down. One notch of flaps, coming back around 900 feet, bringing it back 1,000 RPMs. We'll do about 1,500 for the landing here. I'm trying to bleed off a little bit of the airspeed as we come back around. See, it does lose a fair bit of altitude. But, you know, you got to definitely be careful with this plane. Where's the runway? There it is. Okay, so it's a little bit harder than I thought to line up with that runway. That's all right. Oof. Okay. Uh-oh. 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 It's a lot 
lot harder than I thought to land this thing. I don't know what's going on. Now we should get it right here, and that's it. All right. There's the runway. Let's see how we do. Third time's a charm, right? All right, so the flight characteristics are a little bit tough to get it lined up. Not bad overall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, a little squirrely. It definitely changed um, since the update. It's a lot more squirrely than it used to be. Um, it used to be a lot smoother. Uh, I don't know if that could be the way it flies or handles in real life or what, but uh, for the most part, this plane is usually fairly nice and not really that difficult to control, so just keep it in mind, it could be pilot's error than it is the actual plane. Um, however, that's uh, definitely interesting since the update happened because I'm going based off of my previous experience flying this aircraft, and uh, it seems like it's a little bit more intense to control correctly. So, there you have it. I mean, it's a beautiful plane, nevertheless, I've got to go ahead and taxi in and shut it down. Uh, you know, I almost lost it a few times there, but... Are we headed the wrong way? Let me see here. Taxi lights. Yep. Not a bad aircraft to fly. Beautiful one. I do love the 414 a lot. Um, I haven't flew in a while, so it could be user error. Uh, as you can see, it's fairly, you know, when you land, I think you want to do a lower speeds because it, it's really squirrely on the uh, rudder pedals. Um, but that's to be expected. Uh, you know, I can't say if it's user error or not, but it seems like the rudder pedals are a little bit weird feeling. So just keep that in mind when flying it. And let's go ahead and park it up. All right. There you have it. The 414, ladies and gentlemen. Not the best review, I know. But uh, I did the best that I can. Beautiful aircraft. Highly recommend it. Um, if you don't have it, definitely get it. It's expensive, but it's worth every penny. They just did a couple updates. They're continuing to do updates. And this plane is uh, definitely one to add to the collection. Um, I absolutely love it. So let's go ahead and shut down one engine inside to let you hear how that sounds. And we'll jump out for one engine on the outside. And there you go. All right, let's shut down all the lighting here. And that's the 414, ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful aircraft. It has many features. I forgot to show you the wind patterns here. And I'll show you a little bit of the liver colors uh, that come with this aircraft. And let's go ahead and shut it down and call it a day with that one. Thank you guys so much for watching that. Let me just show you one thing before we leave real quick. And that would be the aircraft livers, what it comes with. And then uh, I'll wrap this up and uh, let you guys go. As you can see um, on the flight, you know, it's a little bit squirrely to fly. Uh, like I said, it could be user error. Here are some of the livers that come with it. It did recently get updated, so maybe there's more. Also, um, some of these variants, from what I was told, have different avionics packets. So if you don't have the avionic packet that comes with the aircraft, um, it won't work. So there's different aircrafts on top of the 414 with the different... Um, avionics packs inside of them so I don't know 
exactly what that means but I've heard that in a review if you guys know let me know in the comments anyway there you go that is the uh, C414 AW a beautiful aircraft I absolutely love it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please let me know in the comments consider subscribing to the channel and smash the thumbs up I'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching peace bye now